Hey guys, it's Christine with In Between Songs. Today I'm going to show you how I made a pillow out of upcycled denim. I, for one, am always finding holes in my jeans and they're driving me crazy. So I decided to do a little project. We're going to cut the denim lengthwise into strips so that we can begin weaving it into something special. It took a long time. Uh, I tried to avoid the little details like those buttons and zippers I would cut out. Uh, but other than that, I didn't really care if there was a seam involved. As you can see, you might have a sewed seam or you might have like a piece of a pocket. That didn't really bug me. What I'm gonna do is take these strips and crochet them into something fun. You can see here that this creates a lot of lint, so make sure that you are ready to sweep it up after you're all done. At this point, I am here inspecting my pieces. They range from, I don't know, two inches wide and maybe two feet long to three feet long. Getting the yarn on the needle is pretty basic. You start off with a slip knot, although you see me not quite knowing how to do it for a second. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Take two. So I make a little uh, loop and I pull it through and this is an adjustable knot called a slip knot. And then I tighten the knot around the crochet hook and I begin with a chain. I did not count how many chain stitches I made. I just kind of eyeballed it to see how long I wanted my project. If you want to make a plan, you can always do that. All right, at this point, I had the desired amount of stitches and I'm about to turn my project for the first time. I take my first strip of denim and I put it in front of the chains. As you can see, I'm kind of figuring out how to do this as I go. So it's kind of awkward in your hands, so be patient. I then put my hook through two chains away from the last stitch. I put it through, I yarn over, and I pull it through. Pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over again, and pull it through two loops. Yeah, okay. Now in between the stitches, you can see I'm doing one extra stitch. And this is to like spread out the stitches so that it's not completely covering the denim. You can see it makes a little hole. So again, it's create an extra stitch on the top, skip a loop, go into the next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and that will create your full pattern. When turning around again, make sure to create two extra stitches at the end of your work, which will accommodate for the height of the denim strip. If you don't do this, the outer edges of your project will get a little squished, so you wanna make sure two extra stitches to give you height. What you're gonna do now is take your denim fabric and you're going to wrap it around from the right side to the left side so it will be behind your work. And then you will insert the crochet hook in front of the denim, yarn over behind the denim, pull it through, bring your crochet hook above the denim, yarn over again towards the back, and then pull it through both of those loops that you have on your hook. This will secure the denim loop. Every time you turn an edge, you're going to do it like that. Like I said, if you're a beginner crocheter, you might not have done this before, but if you have done even the most basic projects, you can kind of intuitively figure out what I'm trying to say here. I apologize for all of the off-camera crocheting. I really thought I was in camera at that time. After the turnaround, I put my hook in the first stitch actually, which gives a little bit more stability to the edge. And then I do another one in the stitch that was created by the extra stitch. If you look at the work, you can see that it alternates. So I'm not going to actually put my hook into a stitch. I'm mostly going to be using the gap stitch if that makes any sense, but again, it alternates. So if you look at your own work and it's not alternating, you know, it's just not going to be the same, but that's okay. This process is actually very easy once you get the hang of it. And in fact, 
I believe that when you're crocheting, the hardest part of the project is like the first two rows. I'm going to show you how to put a new piece in. So I just take the denim of the new strip and I fold it inside the denim of the old strip. You can also kind of twist it around if you want to just like vary how it looks. You could also use a dot of fabric glue, which I didn't do, but you absolutely can for security in your stitches. Um, and then what you do is you continue crocheting like normal and it will be enveloped inside of the other strip of denim. If you have any extra seams, you can absolutely go in and put a dot of fabric glue to secure those seams even after you're done with the whole project. Okay, at this point we have a full swatch of fabric. My swatch when folded in half was 14 inch square and I bought a little pillow form. This is just from Amazon and I had this yarn, uh, super affordable, I got it on clearance, and a little needle. This is a yarn needle. Um, I don't know if that's the name actually, but it has a wide eye hole so you can put coarser string through it. So any any type of thread or yarn that is a little thicker will fit through this needle, whereas it would not fit in a traditional needle. Uh, at this point, you can see me planning how the heck I was going to get the sides together. I went through a lot of permutations, but I decided to end up with this kind of zipper idea. As you can see, the little loops on the edge can fit into each other like a zipper. So I decided to sew it up that way and I wanted the seam to be on the center back. So you can see I put in my yarn and I started off with a knot to tie it up and I'm slipping the needle up through one of the denim loops and then I sew it to the opposite side of the stitching. And I'm going from left to right. So if I started on the left up through the denim loop sew it to the right side of the stitching, then I will go up through the denim loop on the right and sew to the left side of the stitching. Up through the denim loop on the left, sew to the right side of the stitching. And I just continue this pattern until I get to the top. At this point, I turned it inside out and I wanted to uh, just tack down and sew in the edges of all of the threads. I'm using some Fabri-Tac, which is a really great glue, and I'm taking the spare um, edge there and then just putting it along the seam to give it a little more security and to finalize the project a little bit better. I do it on both sides and uh, I take the time to sew in all of the like leftover string bits. That process is pretty tedious, um, but it is well worth it because if you don't sew it in, correctly, you kind of have these little, you know, these little threads hanging off and it just looks unprofessional. So we don't want that. This is a machine washable glue. So uh, you can go ahead and wash your project. If you are wanting to remove this pillowcase, uh, you might want a different enclosure. I actually sewed the entire thing shut, but if you'd like to, you can do like an overlapping sort of situation with a button, or you could technically have velcro if you wanted or you could even have a zipper it's really up to you I decided to sew it closed just because I wanted it to be easy and done I wanted it to be something that you guys can recreate at your house you know without too much knowledge of sewing machines or um, you know much accessories you can see I pinned down the edges here I started from the center to make sure that the work was um, aligned and then I pinned the rest of it. At this point, I take my pillow form and I get it inside of the pillowcase that I have created. I did leave the tag on, which I really probably shouldn't have done considering I was sewing it in and I 
don't intend on taking the pillow form out. And what ends up happening is occasionally when I use the sticker, it will make this little crinkly noise. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. We're going to sew up the other edge and take a look when it's all finished. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into my video today. If you like crafty content, upcycling content, art of any kind, please give it a subscribe. Thank you so much for being here. My name's Christine and this is In Between Songs. I like to do crafty things in between writing music. So glad you're here and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.